at the end of 2013. So uh, these are the three contemporary issues around which we are going to reflect on the theory of empowerment of women and looking at it from the context of human rights. Since your curriculum is focused on enforcement of human rights, we thought looking at human rights uh, approach in terms of gender in these three issues, namely crimes, domestic violence and prevention of sexual harassment would drive home the idea more effectively. Now why should we look at uh, women's human rights or human rights understanding from the women's point of view and what correlation it has got to other genders as well. I want to uh, clarify three points here. First point which you see on the slide, uh, women constitute half of the world's population. They perform nearly two thirds of the work hours but they receive only one third, one tenth of world's income and less than one hundredth of world's property. Now this is the UNDP report which I am citing from the mid 90s, 1993. But I must tell you what is there in this article which is going to be circulated to you uh, from one of the renowned journals where the uh, theorist in 2011 in International Journal of Business and Law argues thus. The first point is only 1% of world's landowners are women. Second point, United Nations figures estimate that there are approximately 5,000 honor killings around the world every year. Third point, the rate of maternal mortality in underdevelopment, underdeveloped countries is a staggering one mother every minute. As of 1998, the <coughs> next point, India still employed sterilization methods and sterilization accounts for over 80% of all types of modern contraception. 90% of sterilization procedures are performed on women. Now, apart from this, in some countries, up to one third of adolescent girls say that their first sexual experience is not consensual, very important. The shocking nature of such statistics shows that there is a lingering problem in the fight for gender equity <laughs> and it raises question as to the uh, idea of past efforts of women's human rights. So just have this, the whole article will be circulated to you. Now that's one. So UNDP report on the one hand laments the fact of inequality, status of inequality as far as women's, women are concerned. The latest scholarly writing also shows that something as important as economic power is deprived. Now there is a very interesting understanding that comes in the other parts of the article which talks about <laughs> how in countries like India in comparison to continent of Africa there is a slight improvement in terms of focusing on women's profitable employability. For example, economic empowerment of girls has resulted in focusing on women's education. So this gives a hope that in years to come situation will change. But then the hope is also blinded by increasing incidents, reported incidents of violence against women, particularly in the public sphere when they get out at the school, at other places. So such is the reality that we have. Now coming to the second point, uh, woman is looked at as somebody whose identity and definition are given from different <coughs> perspectives. Now woman as a human being, as a complete being and as a gendered being, there is a difference. Looking at woman as a person and looking at woman as a person belong to, belonging to or representing the characteristics of a particular gender are two different things and that is where we need to do a lot of critical evaluation, critical thinking and that is the purpose of first part of our session today. So gender needs to be looked at as a uh, construct. It is not real but it is a construct which is emanating in the social context in relation to a particular type of anatomical characteristics of human body. So the biological sex being attributed certain type of social construct is at the base of the idea of gender. Now how does it happen? Now that is where we are going to engage in an exercise. I request you all to first of all 
uh, look at this slide. Now look at the first two uh, rectangles. Your, you have to immediately write down as you read. Look at the first, uh, uh, how many words are there? Five words are there. Just write M or F, male or female, quickly. When I say the word dominant, you have to circulate it to me afterwards, so do it on an empty page, fast. Dominant, you don't have to write your names, but give the sheets to me. So you got it, dominant, loving, <coughs> head of family, just write the words, tender, cleaning, is it male or female? So just to put a line across your sheet, come to the next set, control slash power, is it male or female? Breadwinner, male or female. Giving, male or female. Sacrifice, male or female. Washing clothes, male or female. I hope all of you are done. I am hurrying you. There is a reason for this. So just give me your sheets quickly. You can collect from others. We can close this and we can work on the board. How do we close it? There's a button, is it? Yeah. We need a volunteer. Yeah. Uh, we can just remove this for the time. So who will volunteer to come and write on the board? Yeah. So you can write uh, dominant. Yeah. In the center of, everybody can see? This is better, right? So he writes dominant. And the response is M. You can put, uh, you know how we count the words yeah. like that. Yeah, one, one. So dominant is male, 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 female. There is one mixed response. You know, how many we did? Yeah, like that, like that. When it is five. So male, 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 male. Male, 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 male again, uh, male, 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 not a single different response, male, male, female, there is one, yeah, male, 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 Somebody wrote female and then wrote male. <laughs> male, male, male. Now, when it comes to the next one, uh, which is, uh, <coughs> what is the next one? Loving, loving, female. So predominantly female, let me see these. Yeah, even these are saying loving is female. Yeah, loving female only. All, almost all numbers. Let me quickly go through. Is there any exception to the rule? Yeah, second is female, female, female. Yeah, female, female. Randomly I'm checking. Now let me come to the third one, which is head of family. Yeah. Head of family, what is it? 
all are male. Even these have written male. Only one person has written uh, male and female. Here also, head of family, male. So that is dominant. Let us pick from random. Head of family, male. Male. Now, tender and cleaning. Okay? Tender and cleaning. <coughs> female, female. Tender is also female, cleaning is also female. Tender is female, cleaning is female. Tender is cleaning, fe tender cleaning, female. Tender, male. Cleaning, female. Tender, female. Cleaning, female. Tender, female. Cleaning, female. Female. Predominantly, female, 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 female. Do you understand? See, this is head of family's role. Cleaning is function. Tender, dominant, loving, they are traits. So, when we understand male and female, uh, one is in the static state, the traits. The function is in the state of working and in structures. And when we say the role, it is again about power. So, in the role also, we predominantly gave certain type of understanding. In the traits also, we gave in the, uh, in the traits and in the uh, functions also within the structure, uh, in the behaviors or functions also, we gave a certain type of uh, connotations. Now, let me come to the second set of connotations. Second set of connotations are also mix. Uh, now, typical control or power, it is male. Control, power, predominantly male. Let me take it at random, male. Male, 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 male. Then comes breadwinner. Breadwinner, male, 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 male. Now here, breadwinner, male and female. Somebody has written both are male and female. Uh, control male, breadwinner male and female, uh, then comes uh, the three other characteristics, giving, sacrifice and washing clothes, the functions. Giving, sacrifice, washing clothes, even the, this a little enlightened or a little different response also, about washing clothes it is female, about uh, sacrifice male and female about giving male and female. Now, let me see here. Washing clothes, sacrifice, giving, all are female. In one response, even breadwinner is female. Now, these are only three out of almost more than 30. Uh, sacrifice, giving, breadwinner, sacri breadwinner is male, sacrifice, giving, washing clothes, female, female. Uh, breadwinner, female, this is interesting. Uh, otherwise, it is male, female, female, breadwinner male and rest of it is female. So, what does it show? Now, you all are, thank you very much. What does it show? When it comes to traits, identifying traits, identifying roles and identifying predominant relationship or power in the family, you have identified certain traits as a group. Barring a couple of responses, the trend is predominantly of one type. Now, what is that trend? We seem to, all of you seem to, I can say almost all of you seem to recognize certain traits as male, certain traits as female, certain roles as male, certain uh, and absent female in those roles or very poorly present female and certain functions which are predominantly male and predominantly female. Now, let us think a bit. You are saying dominant is male. Aren't there dominant women? You are saying head of family, male. Five out of seven households in Latin American and African context and Asian context are